Greetings from Hilo, Hawaii on a sunny January morning. Watercress is a semi-aquatic plant with an edible aerial stem and is known as Nasturtium officinale or Roripa nasturtium aquaticum. In this video, watercress will be grown from seed by a suspended pot, non-circulating hydroponic method. Seeds are very tiny. There are over 2 million seeds in a pound and they are very difficult to plant. But we have devised a simple shaker type seeder which consists of a small test tube with a 5 64th inch hole in the cap. We want to plant 10 to 40 seeds in each net pot and this is as easy as a shake of the wrist. Seeds may be planted in seedling box, and they don't need to be covered. Or they may be planted in net pots filled with moist growing medium and sub-irrigated with one half inch of water or lightly misted. Seeds germinate in two to four days and are ready to transplant into growing tanks one week after seeding, but it's okay to transplant two to three week old seedlings. A 29 by 15 inch polypropylene plastic tank is filled about halfway with water. We want to add two fertilizer stock solutions which are stored in these containers. Stock solution A contains 25 pounds of ChemGrow 81536 plus 15 pounds of magnesium sulfate in 25 total gallons. Stock solution B contains 25 pounds of solution grade calcium nitrate and as an option, you can put a half a pound of iron chelate in 25 gallons of solution. Stock solution A is mixed well. And four ounces of stock solution A are measured. And then added to the growing tank. Likewise, stock solution B is mixed. Four ounces are measured and added to the growing tank. Water is added to the tank to fill it about one inch from the top. Fiberglass window screen is placed over the tank and formed into place with this handy dandy frame. If mosquitoes hatch, they will be trapped under the screen. As a bonus, the roots like to attach and also grow through the screen. A polystyrene cover is fitted in the tank. It is one week after seeding and the new seedlings have emerged. The seedling blocks are placed into net pots. An extra potting medium is added so that mosquitoes can't get into or out of the tank. Net pots are simply placed in the holes. The bottom inch of the net pot is immersed in nutrient solution and the growing medium in the net pot is moistened by capillary action. Now just wait for the crop to grow. In the case where watercress was directly seeded into net pots filled with growing medium, it's really easy just to transplant the net pots into the holes of the cover. Two weeks have passed and the watercress is growing. The growth rate is really accelerating at three weeks after transplanting. At four weeks after transplanting, the plants are growing into each other. 
It's 30 days after transplanting, and I'm really hungry for some fresh watercress. So I'm going to harvest two net pots. Just cut the watercress with the scissors. Watercress gets pretty tangled when it becomes large. Watercress from two net pots weighs 0.25 kilograms or about 9 ounces. If you leave a 1 inch stubble, the watercress will regrow and you can have another crop called a ratoon crop. But I usually harvest just the initial crop because insects and diseases tend to become a problem with additional cuttings. We're going to let the rest of this tank of watercress grow another five days. Five days passed very quickly and it's time to harvest the remaining watercress. Watercress from the remaining six net pots weighed 0.56 kilograms, so the total weight for the tank was 0.81 kilograms or about 1.8 pounds. There are many small roots on the lower part of the stems, and I really don't know the cause of this. Now it's time to clean up the tank. But first, let's look at the roots growing into the screen. Let the roots dry up on the screen for about a day and then brush them off with a toothbrush. Empty the remaining solution on another crop such as these pineapples. Rinse the cover and the tank and you're ready to start over again. Here is the reward, a delicious bowl of watercress. The lower few inches of the stems with the excessive root growth were cut off and dipped in hot water for a few minutes to extract the watercress essence. The watercress was then removed, miso and tofu were added, and this makes delicious MTW soup. That's miso, tofu, watercress soup. The YouTube description below has a link to this watercress article that should answer many of your questions about growing hydroponic watercress. For now, I wish you happy watercress growing and bid you aloha.